Brent Central Arkansas here. I am stuck between the heated portion of my greenhouse here and my shelf because right below me is the nutrients that I'm going to change out today. Uh, above, you've seen these before and I'll show you again, those are my storage barrels. I mix and contain all the nutrient in those 250 gallons and they fall into the reservoir tank below and from that uh, that is where it circulates into all the platforms and everything. So today I'm going to take you with me. I'm going to show you what I do to change that out. It's been about, yeah, about a month uh, since I did that. Okay, so uh, stay tuned, follow along, <laughs> see ya. This is my nutrient tank and you can see here, uh, it's not on at the moment, but it is full actually a little over full and uh, it's because it's off right now and all the water is drained back from the platforms back in here all right let's take a sample of this and see where we stand you can see there it's a little discolored and um, like I've mentioned before this is primarily due to the uh, aged rice holes uh, but it uh, it has no smell and and it didn't seem to have any problems uh, working in the hydroponic solutions and uh, and uh, the way it circulates through the system seems to be doing fine. The first thing we're going to do is test the pH. The pH is a very important part of the plant's ability to take up nutrients. And right now we're at 6.1 it's been sitting in the solution probably about three or four minutes and uh, right now it's really good the temperature of the nutrient is pretty important as well once you start getting hot like around 80 degrees uh, that that uh, that water temperature nutrient temperature is uh, opens up possibilities for disease and rot and that sort of thing with the roots so uh, you ideally want to keep it below 80 and of course warm enough that the plants are stimulated by the temperature. And right now we're at 63 and we're in a winter so <laughs> that's not surprising. TDS meter, it's, uh, it's kind of trying to settle in right now while we're talking. That is total dissolved solids and that equates to basically uh, the amount of nutrient that's in the water that, that's available to the plants. And typically I like to have it right around uh, 900 to 1000. That seems to be a good grow all uh, number, parts per million. And right now we're at seven, between 743 and 750. It's just kind of waffling all over that area. Um, some people say go higher, get you up around 1500, some people say lower, but I'm telling you this works real good from what I've noticed, um, and that's what I'm sticking with right around 900 to 1000. It's a little low right now, I suspect that has to do with uh, not being changed out for a month. What happens is uh, it trickles in from barrels above, so it keeps it going, uh, but it does fluctuate and tend to reduce a little bit over time but uh, hopefully we'll remedy that and um, in this change out today. Before I get started I need to turn off the supply to the reservoir tank from the storage barrels and that's this little Y here. Done. How easy is that? One of the things you can see here is that this hose is in the bucket that is uh, filtered uh, from the sides with the landscape fabric. I've mentioned that before in a previous video, but this hose goes up to my pump, my RV pump. And that RV pump is a 12 volt pump and it's wired 
for with a transformer 120 to 12 volt and plugged into my outlet here now once that pump is turned on you can see the outlet comes back around over here and routes up to this Y now I can pump from the nutrient tank below in back into the storage barrels which you see up there 250 and that's how I get the uh, the nutrient into the barrels to begin with I can turn it off and turn it on here and it goes out to a hose that goes outside and I can put or clean out the old nutrient and put it anywhere I want to put it these pumps they have a pressure switch once the pressure gets high enough they automatically shut off and you can see the pump is on right now and I will turn this on to the outside so you can kind of hear hear it and now it's cut off and that's because it's pressurized to the hose outside now let's go outside hose is coming out of the greenhouse over there you can follow it along here and we will take it over to where the blueberries and the grapes are and begin spraying those Alright, let me turn this on here. There we go. And there you go. That is old nutrient water I'm using uh, to feed other plants outside. And that will continue to go until the pump is drawing no more of that nutrient that's left in the container there. Okay, it's mostly empty. Now we're going to add water from the house. Okay, same hose. I'm filling it from the house water. While it's filling, just take a sample of the house water. The pH of the house water is 6 Point nine, right at neutral. Total dissolved solids. Or parts per million. Thirty-nine forty somewhere in there, which is really good for tap water. Really good. Now what I'm going to do is circulate this basically tap water with a little bit of nutrient for a few hours. We will do that now. We'll do it for five hours. Turn the pumps back on. And there you go. Now we are pumping basically clean water through here and what that'll do is that'll dilute any existing nutrient in these gutters and it'll dilute it it'll send a fresh water through the uh, aged rice holes there and hopefully rinse that of any salts at least uh, clean it some all right we run the uh, clean water through there for some time and now I'm having to pump pump it out through the clean out valve. Let's turn the valve on here. And you can see it's pouring in there pretty good. And I also have this hose that I can take anywhere in the greenhouse. It's plumb to the other end of the storage barrels above and it's just filling directly and that is the fastest way to fill this thing back up with the stored nutrient above. Well guys, that's pretty much it. We're done. Put the lip back on there. And uh, nutrient change out complete.